What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's video we're going to be talking about how to customize Revit for maximum efficiency. Revit does have some settings and options which you can set up and I like to make some of my personal adjustments that allow me to be a little bit more efficient and a little bit more effective when it comes to working in Revit because saving time, well that's what it's all about. That's why we have software and we're not like drawing with our hands and pencils and so on. <laughs> now, uh, before I get into this video, I would just like to ask you to check out my website, BalkanArctic.com. The link is going to be just below the video because there I have a lot more content. I take the extra time and I have these uh, courses where uh, I explore both beginner, intermediate, as well as advanced level topics in Revit. I have over 95 hours of content. So if you're interested in becoming a Revit expert, I encourage you to check that out. Also, the second link in the description, just below the video, is going to take you to my Patreon page where you can find all of my Revit project files. So if you're interested in getting my Revit project files, that's where you can find it. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get straight into Revit. And here we are in Revit. So let's immediately get started. And what uh, I like to do first is I like to go here to this little home button. Now, if you have Revit 2020 or 2021, you're going to have this home button. And I think earlier versions don't have this option. So just keep that in mind. But if you go here, then you can go here to file and then you have options. Otherwise, you should have options somewhere over here on the start screen if if you have an older version of Revit. But anyways, you want to go here to the home page and go to file and then find options here. So once you open up the options menu, it's going to look like this. It says, well, options. And then uh, you have several tabs and most of the modifications that they make to Revit are going to be here. Uh, the, the main and logical reason is because uh, when it comes to working in Revit, uh, most of the things are either set by the template or you set them up for each individual projects. And then these options are something that's going to be kind of carried through. So this is a Revit setting. It doesn't really matter which project or template you open up these options are always going to stay the same. So that's why I consider this to be like the kind of the, the main things that I do uh, here for the options. So first under general, we have the uh, save reminder interval. So you know, when you start working in, uh, in, in Revit and then you uh, get that little kind of save reminder that tells you, well, you should probably save this project. Uh, in a lot of cases, I tend to keep this at 15 minutes when I'm working, but because lately I've Mostly I'm concentrating on creating all of this educational material. I don't like the fact that this pops up inside of my tutorials and courses. So that's why I like to set this to one hour. But this is because I have a very specific uh, thing that I'm doing and that's creating educational material. So uh, uh, when I'm working on projects, uh, on actual projects, I like to have this at 15 minutes just to remind me you don't want to lose work. You want Revit to remind you all that you should probably save the project. And also if you're working on a central file, uh, then I suggest you synchronize that and set this to the same amount. I don't, so I don't really care what this is set at, but you have that option. Uh, next, uh, something that I find important is the uh, journal file cleanup. So you know when you start working in Revit and you save your project, you get that little uh, backups. So whenever you save the project, you get an additional little backup file. So that's what this is. So usually it goes up to 10 by default and then it starts deleting those files. Uh, I like to keep this at something a bit uh, lower. So uh, uh, so here, uh, basically I like to set this to five. So just keep up to five and then delete these journals older than and then days. I don't really mess around with this. So I just keep it at 10. So th this basically means that those little additional files that it saves like previous steps, uh, I like to have only five of them. And then here it's going to delete them after 10 days have passed. So you can customize this to your preferences. Perhaps if you're working on more complex designs, maybe you should have this up to 20 even if that's something you, you want to have, but a lot of people just find it annoying and don't see the purpose. So then you can keep it at something smaller if you want. 
Uh, okay, uh, next, uh, let's uh, move forward to the user interface here. I don't really make any changes. You can uh, play around here the with the all of the tabs that you get. I like to use all of them so I don't mess around with this. Uh, next, we have graphics. Uh, now, here for graphics, I suggest you keep the smooth lines world uh, anti anti aliasing so that's uh, that's something that allows you to have those kind of clean smooth lines you know when lines are at an angle and then it displays them kind of jagged edged so uh, i like to keep this and uh, you can use it for all views which i do sometimes but in most cases i just leave it to kind of control it in the graphic display options it's in one of the main settings in the beginning now, one change that I do make here is for the colors, and that is the alert color. By default, it's set to this orange, and I like to change that into red because I find red to be a bit more alert-ish. So that's why I set the alert to red. So, you know, when you make some mistake and it says, well, you can't have this, I, I don't know, wall going through a window or something like that uh, then it gives you this alert so i just like to keep that red instead of orange uh, next we have cardware no changes there then we have the file locations and this one is really important and this is probably where i make most of my changes so by default with revit you get these uh, here we seem to have four imperial uh, templates and then we have three metric templates so what I like to do is just go and get rid of all of the imperial ones because I just don't use imperial units and then I do keep the kind of the default ones the uh, construction architecture and structure but also I add in a couple of my own templates so let's add in a value and here just on my desktop I have saved the architecture design template so let's open that up so for that one I'm just going to select it and then move it all the way here to the top and then also let's insert the custom Balkan architect template that's the second one here and let's move that one actually let's move it above at the top so these are going to be my two main choices these are my custom templates and you can find them on my website uh, balkanarchitect.com and the link to these templates is going to be the third link in the description uh, okay, moving forward, uh, we have rendering and spell checking, and I don't really make any changes here. Next, we have the steering wheels and view cubes. So those are uh, those elements that are usually here in this part of the screen. Uh, so I don't really make any changes here. One thing that you might want to change is the speed factor for the walk tool. So on that little uh, steering wheel, you have the walk tool that allows you to walk through your model like if you were in a video game and uh, a lot of people are complaining that the speed factor is way too high and that they keep moving way too quickly so at uh, this slider if you change it closer to 0 0.1 it can make it a bit slower so if you find that tool to be a bit too fast then well i, I suggest you uh you just uh you just <laughs> lower this uh, down a little bit and yeah, that's pretty much it when it comes to all of these options. Uh, now, another thing that I tend to customize, and that is here on the, uh, let's see, on the view tab, uh, we have the user interface. And if I expand that, uh, here we have the keyboard shortcuts. So this allows you to customize the keyboard shortcuts. And I'm not going to be making any changes here because I usually don't customize uh, my Revit shortcuts for uh, creating all of these tutorials just because I, I like to kind of keep the default settings. But if you want to make some changes, and I do encourage you to have your own shortcuts because it's going to make everything so much easier. So uh, just... This is where you can do that so if you just go through the list you can see all of the little options that you have and then for example here i don't know we have uh, here for railing for example and then you can add a uh, shortcut for railing or something like that so uh, feel free to explore this just to see what has a shortcut what doesn't and if you want to uh, assign a shortcut uh, I, I do encourage that because it does uh, make the whole process a lot quicker. So I'm not going to make be making any changes here, uh, but uh, again, that's something that I do uh, recommend uh, very much. Okay, so that's yeah, that's pretty much it for the changes that I make for all of these uh, for for all of my uh, Revit versions when I install a new Revit version. Uh, these are some of the main 
changes that they make. So uh, I hope you have enjoyed these and please tell me in the comment section below, do you make some changes? What do you like to change around? What do you like to customize? What are some of your preferences? And uh, if there is something perhaps that they missed that you find very important, please tell me. I, I do like to kind of include that as well. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share this video. It helps me out a lot. And also, as I said, if you're interested in those courses or my Revit project files, the links are in the description. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll be back with another Balkan Arctic tutorial in a couple of days. Have a nice day.